everybody, my name's Kevin. I really appreciate you joining me here at Midwest Woodcraft. I know it's been a little while, but today I'm finally back out here to continue on with our Midwest Weedcraft series. I'm going to take just a few minutes to talk about Monarda fistulosa, also known as wild bee balm and wild bergamot. So stick with me, I'll be right back with you. This wild bergamot, or wild bee balm as it's also known, is a perennial member of the mint family. It usually grows between two and four feet tall and it can be found along roadsides, kind of found along the edge of the woods. It kind of likes more sunny, dry areas. Uh, it can handle some moisture, but if it gets in real, real wet areas, it has a ten tendency to kind of mildew. And uh, you'll notice some mildew on the leaves and stuff. Wild bee balm is pretty easy to identify. The first thing you may notice, even though it's kind of late in the season, they're kind of starting to get shaggy and fall off, but we have these attractive kind of lavender purple uh, tubular flowers. Now this variety has lavender purple. There is a variety that has a pinkish flower, and then there's one that you can get for your garden that has red flowers. Uh, several different varieties of it. Uh, but the flowers on wild bee balm are covered with these glands that secrete this volatile oil that's really, really aromatic. And that's where this plant gets its strong, fragrant smell. And that's what makes it so attractive to the bees and the butterflies and such. So uh, a lot of times, you may be walking through the woods, you may actually smell this before you see it. You can see here that it has these kind of lance-shaped, toothy leaves here. Got these toothy edges. And then, uh, they kind of got this little slender stem, petiole, I do believe is what it's called, coming off there, attaching it to the main stem. And you can see down here coming right off the main stem, these are a little toothier here. Then of course, like most of the members of the mint family, it has a square stem, main stem here. So uh, those are some other ways you can identify it there. Flowers and leaves are both edible, raw or cooked, so you could use it to season up a salad or you could use the flowers here to garnish a salad. You could add it to a cook dish to add some seasoning there if you wanted to. Just quite a few things you can do there. Um, I have not tried it, but it's something I want to try. I'll have to wait till next season, but um, I've read that you can use the flowers and leaves either dried or fresh to make a nice relaxing aromatic tea. It has quite a few medicinal benefits as well. So that's something that I want to try. In fact, one of the names, if you go doing research, one of the names for this plant is Oswego tea. And this was, from what I've researched, one of the substitutes they used after the uh, Boston Tea Party when the supply of tea was low. Wild bergamot doesn't lack when it comes to medicinal properties either. It's antiseptic, it's diaphoric, diuretic, has a few others as well. It's been used in various forms to treat cold, sore throat, fever, nausea, flatulence, and other gastric issues, insomnia, menstrual pain, all sorts of skin disorders, so all kinds of things this plant can do for you. Of course, you always want to make sure you're doing your own due diligence and researching. Make sure you have a 100% positive ID before you're ingesting any of these plants for medicinal or edible uses. Some of them have some look-alikes, so you always want to research, make sure you know how to identify the look-alikes, Make sure you know how to identify the real deal and how to utilize it correctly. Some plants are edible certain seasons of the year. They're not in others, so you really got to be careful, guys. So always research, 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 and be safe and have fun when you're out there. Well, as you guys can see, wild bee balm here is more than just another pretty face. If you like what you see here, click like, hit subscribe, leave us a comment down below. We always really love hearing what you have to say. I'm Kevin. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the woods real soon.